One of the ways we can separate circles is by talking about their circumference. Different size circles have different size circumferences. But what is circumference? Well, a non -ver not very technical explanation is that it's the distance around a circle. So if I drew in a little guy right here, the circumference is how far would he have to walk to end up where he started. So it's going to be a distance. There's a special ratio that the ancient mathematicians found of circumference to diameter. So that's what we're going to use to describe circumference. And that ratio was pi. So pi is an irrational number, which means if I wrote out its decimal, it would be non-repeating forever and ever. And pi is that ratio. Remember, a ratio can be written as a fraction of circumference to diameter. So if I wrote in a radius, remember that if you have two radii, that equals one diameter. So pi is that ratio in a circle of its circumference to its diameter. If I solve this equation for c, that is, if I multiplied both sides by d, then I could write circumference, capital C, as pi times the diameter. So that's one formula for circumference. The other says that one diameter is equal to two radii. So I can substitute in 2r for d. So the other equation that you can use for circumference is pi times 2r. So either of these equations, when you know one of their variables, either the diameter, circumference, or radius, will allow you to solve for that other missing variable.